Hi Aries, welcome to my channel and welcome back to, of course, Tis I, the Only Archer with Archer Astrology. Hi. <laughs> What's up? Aries, it's time to do your love energy check-in for your birthday. Happy solar return for you and the one on your mind for the week ahead, for the end of March, going into April of 2024, or whenever you clicked on this reading and decided to come and hang out with me for a little bit. because My readings are timeless and meant to find you when they find you. And I appreciate your patience as I was a day late with the readings, but um, it snowed in Michigan again. It's like the third winter so far this winter, but it's Michigan. We're used to it. We usually get three or four seasons in a day. So I appreciate you for being here, though. Whoa, preview cards. Dude, right out of the gate. Three of swords to the four of swords with a strength card. Hi, Leo. What up? So this came out during the all signs. This is literally my description on the Three of Swords, the Four of Swords, that you are actually healing off, cleaning off the Three of Swords so they can be hung on the Four of Swords to regroup, recharge, and refresh. Not bad. With that Leo card underneath it for some strength, too. That's cool. If you could return the love for me, please. Love, like, down here. Share the channel. Get us out in the Familia Grow so we can just heal everybody. It's a thing we do. It's a genre. I appreciate you for it, too. Subscribe and set the bell to all notifications. I go live every Thursdays at 7.30 p.m. for an all signs from you to Pisces. So join me along with the OG Mod Squad, your concierge for an evening of fun down in the chat, and we'll all just hang out together. And I have got big news and updates for you, Aries, and you're the first one to hear it, unless you watched the preview this morning, <laughs> that um, the meet and greet has a musical date set. I am going to Cleveland for the Totally Eclipsed meet and greet, which is going to eclipse out all meet and greets. And it's a three-day event. So on April 6th, I will be at Breakthrough Sounds Recording Studios at 7605 Granger Highway in Valley View, Ohio from 5 to 9 p.m. I've got an engineer studio and all the awesomeness booked for us. So we are going to hang out. I'm taking Bill. I'm taking my guitars. If you're music inclined, bring yours. And let's jam. Let's have some fun. All right. And we'll broadcast some stuff on the channel on that too. It's going to be fun. And then also more updates on the April 7th, 1 to 7 p.m. I will be at 3 and 3 Shine in Warrensville, Ohio, 4640 Richmond at Road. All right. We, that's the big one. We're going to do all signs readings, tarot readings. We're going to do pick a cards. There's going to be raffles. We're giving away some stuff too, okay? I've got tarot decks. I've got all kinds of goodness. So there's multiple chances to win. All right. So make sure you're there and hang out. And I'll keep you up to date on April 8th where we're going to check out and actually watch the total eclipse happen and stream it to the channel too. So there's lots going on around this meet and greet and I look forward to seeing you in Cleveland and look forward to seeing Cleveland too. If you're already in Cleveland, hi, very cool. Awesome place. All right, let's go for it. All right, we're gonna take a look for you and the one on your mind. Um, oh, by the way, page of swords all over the channel as much as you like what we were talking about. There's the healing music base covers with Bill. There's the pick and card readings where my decks pick you. Um, awesome stuff everywhere, okay? So just check it all out. Have a good time on it. Community posts to keep you up to date. Follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and everywhere. You'll find me. Just search for Archer Astrology. I'm there. All right. I've got some awesome music. There's great stuff. All right. You can pick the cards. Just pick something already. There's music from Caitlin Petty and the Beatles and everybody. The moon card. Archer, we already know all this stuff. What? Easy, Aries. You want to know what's going on with the one on your mind. Ten of Wands to the moon card. Pisces, Cancer, and Sagittarius, okay, with the Seven of Wands, but you're not telling them that you're curious. All right, cool. Let's find out what's going on then. Anyhow, we're going to do the nine card spread on the table, 10th card outcome at the bottom, using the Urban Tarot for the base cards, and the Titanic Tarot to throw a boatload of clarifiers at it. Page of Cups, Scorpio, and Cancer Energy. You are in a glow up right now because even if you don't notice, um, maybe you notice when you enter a room lately or you go and visit someone at, the, at their house or at a grocery store, the tower card, all of a sudden, all eyes are on you. Everybody wants to talk to you. Everyone wants to know what's going on. And you're just like, whoa, easy. <laughs> all right, so let's find out. Of course, all the messages are for you and your person's highest and greatest good, okay? That's, that's a given. When you're with me, I got your back. I'm a writer for life. I am the crystals, all right? Let's do it, Aries. Here we go. You and the one on your mind. Let's do it. Two shuffles. Ready? One. Sticks of wands. I know you're ready because there's the Caitlin Petty victory way ahead of the energetical curve. Like, like her arriving to the Country Music Awards early this year. Right? But with the magician under there, you're manifesting a victory one way or another. However, we have to keep our energetical rhythm. That's a however moment for you. So, I digress. One. 
and two. You basically got your whole reading. Let's love this. Whoa, deck for the awesome Aries. Are you jumpy or what? What's going on? Bottom of the deck's the Eight of Swords. Gemini energy shows up on this one here. Maybe you feel like you're losing some sense of your freedom or something. Queen of Pentacles to the Ace of Cups. Oh, because you got a crush on someone. I get it. Queen of Pentacles. That's Queen Elizabeth here looking there. Like one time I reached out to her and, and, and channeled her and asked her um, if they had sporks in England. I decided I got a friend, a really good friend. He doesn't know if there's sporks overseas. She goes, you don't want to know about Prince Charles or anything that's coming in the future for the royal family? I'm like, eh, I already got that figured out anyways. I'm a cancer. I am a cancer son. Um, so she's like, okay, well, I'll send you the message. And boom, like three days later, I found out we had sporks. So it's cool. All right. So let's find out what's going on in your present energy. Because right now there's something that's got you in a little bit of a lockup mode. But the Ace of Cups shows that you're trying to stay cool and calm in the outcome. And the Ace of Cups shows there's real love to the Nine of Pentacles. And you are actually looking pretty good. Oh, my goodness. Okay. First energy out. Present energy is the Page of Swords. You're spying on somebody, but I'm also picking up that you're doing it because you're actually learning something from them. Ooh, that's cool. That's like a, that's like a duality, just like the Eight of Swords. So when I pull page energy, anything that's page on up in there, um, first I get the element, and then I dig a little deeper into it, okay? So in this case, we had air energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Since your outcome's Gemini energy down here with the Eight of Swords, I went right to the Gemini, okay? So this word, it's, it's that two-way transmission that... You're checking someone out or checking up on someone, but you're doing it because, like, you learn something from them or you keep learning something from them. It's neat. All right. We're going to definitely find out more about that. We got to go OG Snoop Dogg on this one. All right. Don't worry. I'll go deep. Um, what's the immediate influence? It's the Knight of Wands, Sagittarius energy, and a rock star energy that comes out on this. So maybe there's something in, like, a public eye or something where they help you feel confident and maybe you kind of miss the confidence or you, like... Like you're, uh, I, yeah, I can see it that it's kind of like you're, you're clearing your mindset and taking this on in a new energetical approach. So you kind of got a, a crush for them that's coming out because they make you feel good and confident. They might even have done that once before in the past and you kind of miss it and want it back. It's the one on your mind. So ironclad, I'm not going to tell, I know, but it's cool that, um, you're, you kind of, you kind of dig what they got going on. I feel, I feel that. And kind of like wanting to fall into line, follow suit with them, power couple vibes you're manifesting, okay? So it's either someone coming back around, or it's a new energy that you're like, let's try something completely different. The eclipse approaching, the full moon lunar eclipse that's in Libra is just a preview and a preamble for the big total eclipse that's happening on April 8th. Both of these eclipses and the start of Mercury retrograde, all in your sign. So there's a lot that you're working on reflecting back and then eclipsing out energies to try again. All right, so what is your goal or destiny? The Knight of Swords, Aquarius energy. We've got a lot of air and fire here, so that, that makes the fire intensify, all right? It's like, it's like a bigger campfire coming out of this one here, or a campfire that's coming back around, all right? With the Knight of Swords, Aquarius energy, it's the chess master. It's knowing and learning from something from the past that you want to be able to communicate out. You've got two knights showing up, fire and air. So that's the ability to communicate and speak out. Because you, you're actually going through a crisscross energy at the same time as, you're, as you come out of the sun and the sun gets handed in to you. You know what I mean? And then we've got, the, you're also going into Pisces. It's your dominant rock. Mar it's a very complicated setup here. Anyways, Mars is going into Pisces, right? That's your dominant rock. So you're still feeling some watery emotions and Neptune energy. And then you're in the sun sign as Pisces leaves the sun sign. You see how it crisscrosses like that? So it's almost like looking at something from a completely different perspective, okay? Maybe you almost have like a fear that like they've forgotten you or they don't think about you, so you're checking up on it. We'll find out what's going on on their side of the fence. Their present energy is the Hermit, Virgo. And that's actually where the moon's at this weekend as I'm pulling the energies. Now, it's timeless, so it's regardless of that. Or they have a Virgo moon that's on your mind. All right, some of you may be looking a little deeper down from the sun sign side of things. But now on their side of the fence here, they've like... There's a lot on their side here that they're working through with this energy. They're they're staying a little maybe they they like they feel like they let you down or like they let themselves down. But something into it's like like 
of growing pains. You guys are both going through a similar set of growing pains where something similar has been happening to the both of you guys. You're on an energetical path together. So this here is looking for the, the freedom and the energies to, to process through things. Virgos are like superhuman computers in that energy that they can multitask, they can process on the fly in real time and adapt and energize going forward into it. So it's like you're letting your hair down a bit. They're letting their hair down a bit. Let's see how, how his hair is down in that cart. All right. Or maybe you or them are changing their hairstyle or their color. Like if you were a brunette, you're blonde for a little bit. Or blonde, you're going to red hat because there's a lot of fire in there too. So, or you're just putting a little bit of red in your brown. It's, it, it's, it's, it's you know, I mean, something about, about your hair areas resonates at the moment. All right. But on their side, maybe that's they've noticed you. So you guys could be checking each other out. And on the hermit side of things here, like there's something that they see that might want to come back into this one too. I'm picking up that you're going through like growing pains together. Their immediate influence is the Eight of Pentacles, more Virgo, strong Virgo energy on their side. So they're quiet. There's a lot of internal reflection. Maybe they had to cut something out in order to proceed forward, or you did, and they've picked up on it. But I'm seeing it from their side. So they also see that you guys do work well together with that Eight of Swords. There's a lot of two-way nervousness about both you guys, okay? Especially with the Moon and Virgo. But that's also that ability um, to learn from it. Virgos are very smart, and they've got that hermit energy. So think of it like a, a shell that's that's as thick as cancers. It, it's like a hermit crap when you see the hermit card come out. All right, so let's take your three cards, add their two cards to it, and see what potential influence is on the future of your connection. The Nine of Wands, Sagittarius energy. And going through a lot of the, the, the fights and the, and the protections that keep you guarded, it's, it's that fight for your right to, to, to survive through it, all right? Kind of a more traditional wounded warrior energy, but having a wall up that's huge with, a, with an opening in it to allow the safe proceed. So the door is a crack here in this one. It's a safer, slower progression on this one here, okay? All right. Um, they can be born on the 8th or the 9th, possibly be a life path number 8 or 9. Also, I'm seeing the 7th come out, the 6th comes out, and I've got repeating 9. So September 9th might be a date that resonates to you. And you could be born either on the 13th, the 15th, the 28th, or the 27th, all right? So let's see what's going on. Also the 19th off that page of swords. All right, so what is the incoming energy? The Two of Cups, Cancer energy, and a card of divine timing at this place here. Something new being created that you've, you're taking the time to, to reflect back and to grow forward through this, okay? That, that lets you level up or rise up through the energies on this. That is like the divine setup that it may be like you guys wind up at the same place in the same time, the same store, the same coffee shop, and you bump into them. Or like then you come out like or you go into the store and like you see them, but they don't see you. So it's it's and then you, and you're like, oh, my goodness, was that my was that? My, and like, like you don't know if they even noticed or saw it or not, but you totally saw them. Something keeps putting the two of you guys in the same place at the same time. All right. We're going to definitely find out who, what, who and why it is. The environmental factors around you are the Nine of Swords. Oh, interesting. Every tarot reader loves this when you've got the Knight of Swords or the Nine of Swords out. So it's all in the communication, the context, and how you say it. This is the Nine of Swords. It's, it's, it's up all night, playing Caitlin Patty, staring at the ceiling on repeat, where you're looking for the mirrors and the champagne. And I wonder what made me bring up the story about Queen Elizabeth with the sporks. But there it is, because that's part of this. The, even the sparks, the birthday cake, nothing's there. But then all of a sudden, you get a message or an answer or a clarity that lets you know, much like what, with the Queen of Pentacles, where the Queen of England's like, oh, yeah, we, okay, I'll let you know, that sort of thing. But even that, there was a little delayed time into it. So the inner emotions where you guys will go forward onto this one is the Four of Swords, which comes back from the Three of Swords. That's going to be that ability that you guys have healed through those third-party energies and and leveled up through it. it doesn't have to be a person it can just be a place or a mindset maybe it was like a fear of commitment or submitting out energy something that you guys work and overcome to the four swords that you can re rest regenerate re and heal and you find a nice balance of peace and, and emotion across this too so you've got strong air energy fire and earth okay there's a little cancer virgo's here also gemini libra aquarius sagittarius and um taurus for honorable mention okay all right, let's see what's going on for you and the one on your mind. Aquarius is heavy on this, too. All right. Give me two shuffles, please, and thank you on the Page of Swords to the Knight of Wands to the Knight of Swords. Here we go. Ooh. The, the Knight of Swords. I kid you not. I just got chills right down my spine. Nine bolts of the tongue. 
The Knight of Swords is your goal or destiny. It's your current energy. So you are, this is like all happening closer than you think. The Three of Cups is here. It's like an another set of this divine timing that comes into play. And Serendipity shows up. And you go forward. That's well, that's William Stett. He was the editor of the Paul Mall Gazette. And he was on board Titanic. And he wrote Tales of the Titanic. All right. So, wow, the Page of Swords. Talk about a crisscross energy. That Three of Cups shows the happiness that you're manifesting and see. And check this out. This is so cool. You've got the Knight of Swords and the Clarifiers here. It's the base card for your goal or destiny. You've got the Page of Swords here and the Page of Swords here. Remember how I said I didn't pull just straight up spying energy, but spying in order to learn? You guys have bumped into each other once or twice and might not even have realized it. Or they didn't see you, but you saw them type of a thing. Like that energy that you're just at a traffic light or in an intersection. And you look over and like, oh, oh my gosh. So you guys don't have that much of an energetical distance I'm seeing. Because with this Nine of Cups to the Justice card, you do want to see where this goes. On that Five of Pentacles too, on the King of Wands. It's kind of like with this, this energy here, the Nine of Cups, Pisces energy. That it, it's almost like that you know what's going to come or what's happening. And you're making the best of that. You're at Nine Cups where you're finding that happiness that you seek under this one so you can get to your Ten Cups. All right? Like even everything that's going on around him, beautiful energy. Pisces, Sagittarius, Virgo, and Gemini. He's got Eight Cups, Seven of them already drank. And he's like, I just need a little more ice for this one and I'll be good to go. So on that um, Nine of Cups, it does show there's a happiness that you see once you guys connect to each other. But with that Five of Pentacles here, maybe there's some frustrations that come in with the King of Wands where you have moments where you stand your ground and, and you don't go forward into something. And whatever it is that you had to cut out, it, it's returning in a much more newer energy, okay? On um, the King of Wands. It's making the choice to end and come in out of the cold so that you can proceed forward with the Page of Swords. If you're into the manifesting too, I'm noticing that you might want to look straight into 911 Hertz or maybe, um, maybe you're... Like you were in and of the generation that it was like, you know, lest we forget. And you feel like you've been forgotten, Page of Swords, to the King of Wands, to the point you almost want to talk about it. And the cards just keep flipping. All right. So let's see what's going on on their side of the energetical fence. Um, you were then to be born on the 8th, if I didn't mention it. Or if I did, I'm, I'm being told I did. Had to rewind to find out. Um, it's up here. But yeah. So it's kind of like maybe August 8th or I'm even seeing August 21st is the date for the two of you guys. Eight of Wands, Eights. I say it here and it comes out here. The Nine of Pentacles is here to the King, Knight of Wands, to the Star, and the Page of Pentacles. So this, this Nine of Wands protection here is the Star. And that's basically an all signs reading. That, that's pulling the energies from every corner, every, every rock and nook on that one here to do the healing that you want to do. And you want them to meet you on your level because whatever it was you guys went through, it was it was pretty big, right? And that's 2.17 a.m. February 17th could be a date that resonates to you on the Page of Pentacles. Something about a very significant day in your life. Like, let's say it was a family member's birthday or a transition, my condolences, or a very close friend or something to that effect. It's that ability to kind of work through it, overcome it, and find the answers that you seek. And yet you make me yawn? Interesting. Okay. <laughs> With the Ace of Pentacles to the Nine of Wands. Interesting. Look at the repeating numbers. Now I've got multiple nines. And you or them could be a life path number two or a life path number nine. But this idea that you're sitting here and waiting for with those paper roses over there, it's it's showing that you're open to receive it and you, almost like you're the one blocking that pentacle energy. Now, not to call any out on it. Maybe they did something that was a little beyond belief and you're in that page of swords squared energy that you're like, but there's goodness in them and I'm not sure what to do about it, Archer. But that's okay. That's what I'm here for. Because what they've got going on with this here, maybe it's like they've stayed quiet and just found themselves the direction they wanted to seek and go and allows it to be the end of the frustration points. Emperor energy to the Ace of Pentacles. And I took and I, and I know I wasn't going to say it out loud, but this Knight of Wands is that 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 return of the deep connection that you might have thought was already gone, the deep soulmate twin flame connection. Because the Knight of Wands is Wallace Hartley, the band leader on the Titanic with his violin and he had said that 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 if he was lost at sea or not it didn't matter if they found him or didn't because back then they didn't have all the sweeping sonars where if a canoe tips over you can go check it out or if a plane's door falls off you can go and check it out all right so it's a little deeper into this data pentacles but there is a future still for you guys it's much like if you think about it it's kind of like a hermit crab or any crab that as they grow it's like growing pains as they grow 
then they they expand until they burst the old shell and the new shell is already there underneath it. And with the seer, the magician shows up. Wait, magician? <gasps> it's the high priestess. Disguised as the magician. Oh my goodness. There's a whole new energy about them. I'm not saying it's got to be like a name change unless there was a marriage involved. And then, you know, and very traditional where the girl takes the guy's last name and that. And then the guy holds the door open for the girl and the guy actually drives places instead of just sitting in the passenger seat. It's nice. You're manifesting it too on the Ace of Pentacles, but it's on their side of the fence. Oh my goodness. Sorry. Sorry about that, Aries. All right. So let's take a look here. You're them. Uh, I'm seeing the second and the third is dates. Also, the 23rd comes out. And something about maybe an Aries not sleeping tonight because I've got a solid six hours of sleep and yet I'm tired. I've already done stuff, done work, gone out in that and yet I'm tired. All right. Which maybe that's coming from you because literally before I sit down and hit record, I wasn't tired. So maybe something about checking your sleep or your sleeping patterns like you guys are on different sleeping patterns and if your God is trying to connect me to the moon energy. Um, and but almost like you guys won't have to cry tears for each other no more here coming up in the outcome because they have done a lot of work and they see the healing the abilities that you got. And there's your ten of cups. I kid you not. Oh my goodness. Thank you. So grateful. Thank you. Thank you. I mentioned when that nine of cups showed up here. All right. I think that's uh, he's a second class passenger because that's the second class dining room, even though the chandeliers in there, but it's OK. Um, this ten of cups is the manifestation for your outcome. On the two of cups, could be 12 cups. Or December 19th might be a date that resonates to you or them. Also December 4th and December 6th. A lot of Sagittarius energy on that one too. And it doesn't necessarily be your month. Maybe it's just the date that connects you into this reading. It's why I shuffle on the camera. So that you feel more connected to your reading. All right. Maybe that eclipse has you really reflecting back and being like, did they move on? I'm unsure if I can go any forward. And they're doing the same darn thing. So you guys are like, it's like you guys are out stubborning each other. That's It is cute. It can get rather frustrating, but it's cute. You guys just do you. When you compare it to the glory that's been revealed to you in the past, it's kind of like at that point that you're like, hmm, here's what it is. Three of swords to the king of cups. Five of cups to the, whoa, to the ace of wands. And look at this. How can this not be a portal energy? Eight of swords, eight of wands over here. And then our pop out on this is that it's the, the, the reunion the coming together, the final on the lockdown where you're out of the house and you can do stuff and you've learned how to take the mask off. It's all that kind of that with the four of swords. So this is something you have dreamt about. That ace of wands to the five of cups verifying it too. Because in the five of cups cards, this is why I love the five of cups personally. Scorpio doesn't get bum cards. That's crazy talk. But this here is, is this man missed the boarding on the Titanic and it's sailing away and he can see it off the coast of Ireland. All right. Instead of going, oh my gosh, I missed that boat. But then, like, when you suspect it and turn back around, the boat comes back to port, okay? All right, so give me everything you've got, please, and thank you on... Let's see the seer to the empress, because that's a very interesting energy. That the nine of swords comes back. You got Caitlin Petty's songs on, like, a playlist, and, and I just heard, a le uh, I just heard, I heard, like, a lady's voice saying to me, it's okay, I don't mind, I'm not telling, they don't tell. That's, that's, dude, that's interesting. Uh, there's, there's, go check out one of her playlists. It might help. <laughs> All right. So meanwhile, oh, it's on their energy, but it crosses both of them to that five of cups. So you're both feeling, so I just mentioned that you guys are both feeling a little like stubborn or almost put offish. All right. So give me everything you got on the outcome for this here. Three of cups comes back to the eight of pentacles. I kid you not. This is crazy. The moon card and the ten of swords. Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, and Virgo energy. What the heck? Are we, is that safe to leave out in my class? It's out. Okay, cool. What is with an Aries that's tired? I mean, I mean, dude, I've had like multiple coffees, and yet I'm yawning. Interesting. It resonates to some Aries out there that either you're not sleeping right, or you're not breathing right, or something that's going on with the territory. And you have kind of watched everybody else doing it, or your drop ceilings getting put in, and you're like, oh, no way, I'm not dealing with this. All right? So, but that Empress energy shows that it's coming your way. There's some wards coming your way. There's abundance coming your way. And it just takes off from there. All right. Told you. Death card to the Six of Wands to the Fool card on the Three of Pentacles to the Five of Pentacles. I knew we'd get to that stop point. It's like when a doctor asks about a full body scan. They know they're going to find so many weird things inside the body that there's not going to be a way to trace it, so to speak. All right. Six of Wands is the victory. Death card is Scorpio. And yeah, just current at the moment, I'm sure where they are. 
But this here, the energy nears, is that you have found each other. Like, where's Waldo coming back after a two liter Mountain Dew? And you guys, this this two of cups to the six of wands could be a Cancer or a Leo. Those two are never far apart. But it right here is the energy of being ready to take that new beginning, the new leap of faith with Violet Chess aboard the game plank or Rose, and then to just to meet them, keep them company, and approach things from a different perspective. Three of Cups, but it's a positive perspective on the Ten of Swords. You've got so many repeating numbers. The 10th, the 20th resonates out. October resonates out. So that's interesting. That's a lot. And the, oh, wow. That's why I broke there. The Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups, the energy at the bottom of the deck. Neat. All right. So on this Five of Cups here, especially when it falls onto a Four of Swords, it shows that time is needed to reflect back and maybe not feel so meaningless in life to find your own position, your own power. So that you can take it from there five of cups all right so it's like maybe i'm seeing a especially this knight of wands and he's carrying a book maybe i see um a sagittarius picking up books for himself or anything like that i worked with a male sagittarius for a while but yeah so that would make some sense too on it that you got somebody kind of you're, you're equally spying on each other but both of you don't know how to proceed kind of safely but the outcome to giving this that one last chance and one more shot to work things out with the death card leads you to the actual Grammy in the Six of Wands. Being recognized for what you did, what you contributed to the situation, and then having a little bit of fun time. So let us in the boardroom and in the bedroom, please. It's, Aries, stop it. You get me in trouble with that stuff. Oh my goodness, I cannot with you, Aries. But you're fine. You're totally fine. So, wow. I hope that helps definitely here because you've put in a lot of daddy time for somebody that never really took it for proper granted. So I'm just here to tell you, it's cool. All right. Music could play a role because I keep looking back on that uh, King of, uh, who's that? It's the Knight of Wands. But I keep looking back on it. So it could, a Knight of Wands, Gemini, Leo, Sagittarius. It'd probably be something to look into at least because we'll find out. All right. So until next time, remember this will resonate to any and all placements within your chart, Aries, because we're not just our sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs, but all the parts of all our charts. And I'm FHA compliant, and I'll read for any sign or placement that desires and inquires. All you got to do is ask. And if you'd like to ask, you can email me at archerastrology at gmail.com, where we'll hook up, connect, and we'll take it from there. All right? So until next time, remember, this is FHA compliant. I will read for any sign or placement that desires and inquires. And we're on repeat again, too, like a needle gets stuck in the groove. Interesting. Something about music definitely resonates to you. Or lately, you've been hearing years in their song on repeat constantly. Okay? So, um, hope that helps. Thank you very much, Aries, for taking the time out of your day, your week, your love, and your energy to be here for me. I truly appreciate you. In spirit, God, thank you very much for the messages we received for Aries today. We are truly grateful as well. So until next time, Aries, you stay safe. I'll see you Thursday nights for the live. And there is lots in store for the meet and greet. If you want to come and bring a guitar and jam, we gonna. And then also I'll see you on the Thursday the 7th in the afternoon at 3 and 3 shine. All right. So I appreciate you. Take care. Namaste. Peace and love. Archer out. Yeah, chariot. Love you.